Hi, John Gregor with Cold Snap Photography with some tips and tutorials. Today I'm going to be talking about shutter types and the effect called a rolling shutter and what that is. I've discovered this because I've been doing some more bird photography lately and I came across this rather weird effect and I started researching it and found out that there are three distinct types of shutters that your camera has. Most modern digital cameras these days have three different types of shutters that can be set uh, in the camera's menu. So if I just go to the menu here and go to the shutter type of menu, there are three different settings that I can use. I can use either the mechanical shutter, electronic shutter, or what's called an EF, which is sort of a hybrid of the two. It's a mechanical and electronic shutter. Let's talk for a second about the different types of shutters and what the advantages and disadvantages are with them. With the mechanical shutter, the way that it works is you have a mechanical curtain that opens, the image is exposed, and then closes. With an electronic shutter, what happens is the sensor is recorded line by line electronically. And so it will either read from the top to the bottom or the right to the left or the left to the right, something like that. But it's a sort of a line by line uh, a recording of the sensor. And then the EF is a combination where it starts out electronically and then finishes up with a curtain. There's certain advantages and disadvantages with both. With the mechanical shutter, you use a mechanical shutter when you want to use flash. You can't use, typically with most cameras, you can't use flash with an electronic shutter or the EF setting the combination. You have to be on the mechanical shutter that opens and closes. Um, the mechanical shutter won't distort images the same way that the electronic shutter will. And I'll show you that in a second, where the electronic shutter will distort it. Um, and the EF... Uh, also doesn't distort the same way that a, uh, that a electronic shutter will. But the electronic shutter has certain advantages. You can get much higher burst rates. My camera goes up to 30 frames per second on electronic shutter. It, so you can rattle off a lot of shots in a very short amount of time. You can use very high shutter speeds. Again, this camera goes up to one thirty-two thousandth of a second in an electronic mode, and that can be very handy. And it can be very handy when you're shooting things like sports and action. But there's also some detriments to it. And let's take a look. You get some things that are uh, some distortion, what is known as the rolling shutter effect. So if we take a look at it, I just used a very simple uh, movement uh, that I could replicate, which was a ceiling fan. So this was the picture that I took with uh, of the ceiling fan. I'm shooting at one four thousandth of a second, very fast shutter speed, and you see the ceiling fan, and it looks fine. That's a mechanical shutter. This is the combination, the EF, mechanical uh, and electronic, and again, that looks just fine. But look what happens when we shoot in the electronic shutter mode. Look at the distortion of the blades here. See how that's sort of curved? And this blade is fatter than the other one. This can happen in, uh, in particular in bird photography or any kind of uh, high action photography where you have really fast moving stuff. Now here's a couple of birds that I caught at very fast shutter speed. This was about a thousandth of a second. Uh, and you can see that the wings look pretty good. So it doesn't happen every time. Again, this is an electronic shutter and the wings look fairly decent. This one looks good too. The wings are captured, they look fine. But look what happens here on this one. See the exaggerated length of the wing there? It kind of stretched the wings out. It sort of distorted them because those wings are much larger than what that bird is. And that's due to the that electronic shutter recording it sort of line by line. Here's another one. This really went weird. It just totally smeared and blurred that, in particular, that back wing. 
kind of gives it a neat effect. In this case, it worked for me, not against me. But it's something that you should know about if you're shooting a lot of birds or other action uh, where things are moving fast and you're using a fast shutter speed, you might get this effect which is called the rolling shutter. So just be aware of it. Manufacturers are working on a fix for that right now if they can ever come out with what's called a global uh, electronic shutter where it grabs the whole sensor all at once, that'll solve the problem. But so far with the regular DSLRs that are available to us or the uh, mirrorless uh, SLR type cameras, that's not an option. Hope this helps and I hope you learned something new. Thanks a lot.